Hi there, I have a super quick video for you today on how to copy and paste rows from Excel to a SharePoint list. And this is something that you would do when you need to move data from, uh, from Excel to an existing list because there's a different mechanism that you can use if you're trying to create a new list from Excel. In Classic, this used to work a lot better than it does now, like you could do it on hundreds of rows at a time and it didn't seem to have an issue. In modern, it's it, it doesn't like a ton of rows. So this is something to do if you're trying to import just um, a small chunk of data. And what you do is you just go to this edit and grid view and then you copy your data from Excel. So I have a table here with two rows. I'm just going to go and use the keyboard shortcut to copy. And then where it says add new item here, you just click into that cell and you want to make sure that you click once, not twice. If you click twice, it'll put the blinky cursor in the cell and then it'll try and paste everything into that single cell. So you don't want that. Just click once, make sure there's no cursor and then paste and it will create your rows. And you'll notice that this one is red. It's because this is a required field and I didn't fill out this field in the Excel sheet. So it's going to prompt you to fill that out before it'll let you save. So I'm going to set this. And a few caveats with this, again, make sure that your required fields are in your list view. So your columns have to match up, obviously. So they have to be in the same order so that the, when they paste the data and the data goes to the right place. But also you need to have your required fields in that view because if you don't, then when you try and save, it won't let you save because your required fields haven't been filled out. And another thing is that it doesn't work super well with multiple content types because it can't set when you paste, it doesn't set the content type field. Even if you put a value in there, it'll set it to whatever the first or the default content type is in the list. So you have to go back and, I mean, you can go in and edit it for each one, but it, um, for some reason, it doesn't let you edit the content type in quick edit mode either. It'll say the cell is locked for editing. So uh, you have to go into each item and set the content type. So works best with the a standard list with one content type, meaning one, basically one form in your list. Um, but it does let you bulk paste in a big chunk of data at once if you need to. So um, if you're using a people field, what it wants is the email address of the user. Um, I think the name, it might take the name too off the top of my head. I can't remember. Let me just try it real quick. So if I just put my name in here and copy this, paste it, take this out, and paste, Let's see what happens. See if it, yeah, so it wants the email address. You see how it blanked out what was in there? That's how to paste data into a list in SharePoint from Excel. Thanks for watching.